guys, today we are here at Mercedes-Benz of Grapevine. Taking a look at this Mercedes-Benz W124 300D. This is a, a D designates diesel. Um, and I haven't gotten a old car like this on a full review. Um, so I did want to kind of get this one in. It's unlocked, so I'll get into it, kind of show you guys around. Uh, but this is kind of a legendary car for Mercedes. This was in the era where they kind of went all out. Like this car would have been, you could have probably spec this out a hundred grand back in the nineties. Uh, so this is, you know, a very, very over-engineered uh, piece of just machine. I mean, it's, it is very, very solid. Uh, now, obviously this one, it's not the cleanest example, uh, but it's still nice to see these on the road. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get into this. Uh, it's kind of finished off in like a bluish silver uh, metallic color. Uh, you can see those nice headlights up front. These were pretty much the headlights that they used for every single one of their cars back then. Uh, just in different shapes, but they all kind of uh, follow the same design. Um, you can see on the grill, that old style grill with the hood ornament up top. Very, very beautiful kind of the black bumper down here uh your rims which are oh, i can't even find the size yeah i'm not gonna be able to find this uh size but uh just kind of old school rims that mercedes gave us uh you have your uh turn signal there black trim on the doors uh, you can see on the mirrors, one is shaped differently than the other. I'll show you that when I get to that side. And I, I'm not sure exactly why they did that. I'll have to assume it was for parking purposes. Uh, but you do have the black plastic door handles. And that old Mercedes door slam along the back. Uh, tail lamps here with your Mercedes badge and then the 300D uh, badge as well. Let's go ahead and get into the back seat. This is an old car. Very, very old. Uh, you can see the either this is leather or MB Tex. Uh, you can see on the door panel, you just have the nice leather with the ashtray there, and then your window control. Uh, the old style lock. These, the leather is like so hard on this. Uh, and it has that old car smell. Uh, but you can see no center area here. Kind of just a boring back seat. I'm not going to pull that down. But yeah, that's basically it in the back seat of this. Um, everything is red. Uh, I will say that much. Uh, but yeah, it's just nice to be in one of these really. This was probably my first time um, in the back seat of a old E-Class. All right, so I'll get in the front seat, um, and I'll show you in the front right, seat. So after making not. the discovery that the door is locked, I just hopped into this side. But you can see that is your steering wheel. Uh, it's it, it was very thick for the time, probably, uh, but now it's just kind of the old school Mercedes steering wheel. Uh, I, I do like the design of it, kind of. It just represents the old school Mercedes. I don't know if that says one. Yeah, 168. Not bad considering my mom's 2008 ML has 150 something. So that's great. Uh, you can see it does have the aftermarket radio. Oh, you can actually shift this thing in gear. That's weird. Just jerked forward. That is so weird. Uh, but I won't put that in gear. This is kind of, yeah, that's kind of unsafe that they just let you put it into gear uh, while the car is off. You can see the ashtray there. Uh, AC up here. Uh, your hazards. Your uh, climate control. These buttons are kind of nice to kind of toy around with. Uh, and then you have your, the little wheel here. I think this is probably the cheapest part about this car. Um, you have your window controls. Oh, they actually work. When the car the car is off, guys, and the windows work. That is just crazy to me. All right, uh, you have your seatbelt here. 
uh, and then your mirror controls as well and then the child lock for the back uh, no power seats in this one they're manual and then you have the glove box as well really really just old school mercedes interior you have your lighting up here uh, then the sunroof controls up there and then i'll tell you to fasten your seatbelt. that's like you're on an airplane this car it's just so german the way it looks the way it smells just everything about it is just so german all right this is a w124 mercedes e-class thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video bye